Hello guys and welcome to another part of 7 days to die, how to do everything. Today I'm going to explain something that has been requested for quite a while. Um, yeah, it's going to be farming, as you probably have seen on, in, the, um, in the description or, or in the title already. So, first of all, I am going to show you uh, what kind of trees and um, crops you're able to grow. So, you can uh, find uh, pine seeds, maple seeds, and cotton seeds. Actually, the, <laughs> this is actually no tree, but yeah, this would fit better over here. So, the, these two kind of trees, I don't think there's more. Uh, if so, then I'm sorry, um, but yeah. Whatever, so uh, yeah, just cut down a tree, and uh, sometimes you have the chance that you get um, tree seeds. The next thing is going to be coffee beans. Uh, yeah, coffee beans can uh, just get found by now because the coffee um, plants plants are not in the game yet. So I have never seen coffee plants uh, except for a player has been farming them manually. But I don't think there was something like a coffee, um, yeah, coffee farm or somewhere around, like uh, in included in a prefab. So, the next thing is goldenrod flower. You can find this, uh, yeah, just by running around. I could actually teleport and show you that. I'm pretty sure I will find something soon. Yeah, over here. We are here already. Oh, so this is uh, goldenrod flower. If you find them, definitely go and pick them up. Uh, cotton seeds, actually, are these ones here. Yeah, I don't think I need to describe what trees are. So, the trees are over here. Um... Yeah, cotton seeds is the next thing. Blueberry seeds can be found in a snow biome. Unfortunately, this is a new uh, this is a new map, as you can probably see. I just teleported up uh, and uh, tried to find a village because I wanted to do the um, farm on a roof because I wanted to have it as yeah as close as, as to the game as I can because if I just put it down on the ground, I don't think uh, uh, someone would do that because usually there are zombies. But of course, I turned them off because this is a guide and not as uh, how to kill zombie. So um, yeah, as I said, this, these can be found in the bl uh, in the snow biome. Probably after this video, I'm going to teleport around and probably I'm going to show you the blueberries. Um, the same goes for ear of corn. You can find them uh, if you are running around in the savanna. They are over there, and of course, blueberry seeds as well as ear of corn. As well as, I think I mentioned that already, uh, coffee beans, as well as potato seeds, um, can be found in kitchen stuff as well. So, uh, I don't know, in a sink, um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the kitchen cupboards and, and stuff like this. So, if you go into a kitchen in the game, then, uh, yeah, you usually find some um, seeds of, uh, as well. But yeah, if you don't do uh, if you don't uh, do so, then uh, yeah, potatoes, as I said, can't be. Uh, no, I did not say that yet. But now I'm going to. Potatoes can't be found in the wilderness yet. Same goes for coffee beans, as I said, except for looting. But the ear of corn and the blueberry seeds can be found. So the reason why I have the oh, actually that was wrong. Let me open this blueberries. Oh, I could put them down, actually. <laughs> I am going to do that right now. Um, it is corn. So, uh, yeah, I can't show them properly, but some... Oh, yeah. They're looking like this, over here. So, a lo usually a little bit taller, depending on the size of the, um, the corn. But usually they look like this. So this is the corn, and the blueberry bushes, usually, as I said, in the snow biome they are uh, spawning like this, so they look like this. So, uh, the reason why I have everything in my inventory is I'm going to show you how you can craft the uh, corn things as well. So, as I said, pine seed and maple seed are uh, just, yeah, the chance getting out of trees. Corn uh, can just be crafted, so the seeds of them can be crafted. Just put one or multiple, you can make like as you can see, 256, but I don't know, I don't need so many, so I just put one there. Uh, corn seeds over here, and then you can craft them. There we go, now we have corn seeds. Actually, let me throw this stuff here away. 
So, um, if you pick up blueberries, you don't get the bush usually. You only get, if you do this, you get the small blueberries over here. So, the same as with the, with the corn, just put them in the middle and click on blueberries. Unfortunately, you only get one blueberry seed um, out of one blueberry. That means the value is quite low and even the food that you can make uh, make out of blueberries is very very low So it's usually not recommended to use them at all right now as I said this could be ch uh, this could change in the future But yeah, so let me throw this away because we have some already over here So uh, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore the cotton seed, uh, yeah, if you collect cotton, there we go, over here, we get some. So, the same, just into the middle, then you can craft cotton seeds, and yeah, let me throw them away. The same goes for golden rot flower, just put them in the middle, and then you get the seeds. I think you get it by now, just put it in the middle, and then you get the seeds out of it. The only um, flour or uh, yeah food, so pot potato and corn and stuff, uh, that you can't put in the middle is coffee beans. Because the coffee beans is already the seed of the coffee uh, anyway. So you, know, you can just uh, use the coffee beans to do so. So let me throw away the potatoes as well. I think I have everything down here now. I'm pretty sure. So if I missed something, uh, you might write that in, in the comments uh, in the video, but I'm pretty sure I have uh, all of them now. So where did I come from? Where, Which building where have I been on top of? Let me take a look. Mm, I think I was in this one because I prepared the area already. I cleared the... Um, I cleared it out. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Shit. Where's the roof that I have been on top of? There it is. Ah, found it. Sorry. So next time I'm going to put down a sleeping bag. Actually, let me do this right now uh, so I can find this stuff again because I'm going to do uh, another video at this area here. Not right now, of course. <laughs> but in the future I'm going to use this area here. So, um, the first thing that you want to do is getting some dirt. So you will need a shovel or you punch it with your fists, but this will take forever, so I recommend to getting a shovel. If you don't know how to get a shovel, you might take a look at my forging video, because the, there I'm uh, going to show you how to get the iron, as well as the, um, yeah, the sticks for the shovel itself. Uh, as I said, you need a gardening hoe. I'm going to show you the, 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 uh, the recipe for it. But as I said, if you don't know how to make iron ingots or sticks yet, then you might take a look at my forging video because I'm showing it in the uh, forging video. So just stop the video here, search for the um, search for the other video. Um, if you don't know that yet, in my in the description, the first link is or is it the second link? Ah, it's uh, going to be the second link. Um, is uh, the playlist of all of my Seven Days to Die tutorials. So just click it, and then you see all of them. So, but yeah, enough advertisement for my um, playlist. So, what you want to do is, um, right now, as I said, this can be changed in the future. But uh, what I do usually is just one strict line. So, just put dirt in one line. Of course, usually you don't cover up the, the ladder over here because you want to get up again. So, um... Yeah, we could actually fill the whole area here. I'm going to actually, um, yeah, uh, increase the speed here on the video.
So now that we have covered up all the um, all the the whole roof here, um, yeah, of course, uh, if you are uh, if you're willing to live on top of here, um, you might just do like one row or something. That's enough. If you want to do two rows, um, then make sure that you have three rows because in the actual game, but you'll see that right now. You're going, if you right click with the uh, gardening hoe on the d dirt pile, you're making something like a small little pile. You don't see that properly right now, but as soon as I go for the second row, you will see what I mean. So I'm not going to do the whole roof here now, I just uh, wanted to fill the whole area just to show you how I usually do it. Oh, that was there. So... And as I mentioned, you have a small little pile now here, and if you do it in between, you will see that the re right side and the left side is going to get destroyed because of this. So you have to have one block spare. You can see that uh, probably a little bit better here right now. So you have one pile here that you have, uh, yeah, hoed. And then you have one block free. This can actually be air as well, or I don't know. Um... Yeah, uh, wood frames, concrete, if you want to make it look uh, a little bit nicer. Um, and then a second pile as well. So let me change that, what I just destroyed. There we go. In Seven Days to Die, it used to be use water um, to, to, to raise crops and stuff, but right now it's not necessary. So in Alpha 11 it's not necessary. Probably in the future it will be necessary again, but right now it's not necessary to have any source of water nearby. So, the next thing is, yeah, of course you want to put down all your seeds now. By the way, if you don't know how to uh, do this, that uh, you don't have to click and click, uh, it is shift left click. Shift left click is interacting with your inventory and your belt so of course um so they are right now i don't know if, if this is bu uh, is a, if this is a bug or if this is intentional um some need these piles and some seeds don't so i am pretty sure the trees don't need that oh actually this is cotton yeah this is cotton i'm sorry let me change this uh cot cotton definitely does it? Okay, this doesn't look like it does need it. Hmm. So cotton used to uh, used to need it, but it looks like it doesn't anymore. So, but let me show you the trees. So they should still stay here. Um, make sure that there's one block in between. I probably fa yeah, I play, uh, failed already here. You can see one block, two blocks, so this tree here uh, won't grow, probably, or this tree won't grow, because they are blocking each other in the uh, space then. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it's quite buggy, as I said, the farming is, uh, yeah, a little bit buggy. So usually you want to um, make like the, like on a dice, you want to make a five. So you have like one spare here, one spare there. And put it here. So this looks like a five. So this one, two, three, four, and five, like a like a five on a dice, as I said. So and yeah, this is the pattern that you want to follow. Um, if the if the piles are not necessary, as I said, for the trees they are not necessary. Um, I'm pretty sure corn doesn't need the piles. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I think everything else needs the piles. Otherwise, as soon as they grow once, they are going to say, uh-uh, no, I don't like that, and they're just going to pop, and then they're gone. So, um, the second thing that you need to re uh, really take care of, that you have one in between, even on the piles. This is very, very important. Um, let me test this right now. Usually they are going to pop then. Probably they have fixed it already. I am not sure about it. Th this is a problem. Uh, this is, uh, they have f uh, fixed so many things because the farming was so completely um, yeah destroyed. 
and buggy. Probably they have fixed all the issues that they have, but uh, it was like uh, you had to um, had one in between, as I showed you over, over there already. But it looks like it's fine now. So probably it uh, is different for other flowers. Let's test it. Come on, put it down. There we go. So uh, let me uh, put down more flowers over here. It looks like they have fixed the issue. So and let me put down some cotton seeds as well. So two each. And nothing popped yet. So it really seems that the fun pimps have uh, fixed the issues with the with the farming, and all you have to do now is wait. Uh, you can just uh, go looting, hunting, kill some zombies, or whatever you want to do, because this will take some time now. Um, and as soon as you have, of course, uh, as soon as they have grown, then you want to, um, yeah, just collect them. The only difference is wait uh, for the. Did I put down corn? No, I did not put down corn. Where's my corn? Did I? No. No, I forgot corn. Corn seeds. Let me get rid of the gardening. Oh, I don't need it anymore. No, actually, ah, I'm stupid. I put it down here because it doesn't need any uh, anymore. Um, the only difference is with the corn. Can I show that actually? Let me take a look. I don't know if I can stack them on top of each other. So, corn stalk one, corn stalk one. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does look like it. W no, no, unfortunately, I can't. Well, let's test it once more. Come on, put it on top of there. No, it doesn't look like I can put it right there. Can I fly on top of it? Is it easier then? No, I can't right click right now. It doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, the corn is right now the only uh, flower or, yeah, plant um, that can actually grow in multiple stages. You can see um, this here is right now stage zero because it has no corn. Then it changes to, um, it looks like kind of this here, um, stage 1. Then you can see, press E uh, to pick up one corn. Then it can grow this here on the bottom and this here on top. So it is uh, on stage 2. And then it can raise once more with this. So you have two of this and one of the top. So you can actually get three corn out of one, um, one seed. Which makes, because uh, if you get three corn... Oh, let me get some corn again. So, if you get one, two, three, you can, as I said, so we we just uh, had one corn, we put it in there, we waited it a little bit, then we got three corn out of it, and you get 12 seeds back. So, it is going to exponentially times 12. So, um, now you get 12, and then, of course, you get 12 times 12, which is 144. And, yes, I'm not going to do the math any further, because I don't know the, the number, which is higher, uh, which is 144 times 12, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> So, uh, yeah, as I said, you have, like, 12 currencies now, and, uh, yeah, as I said, you get 12... I'm sorry. You get 12 times 3, actually, out of this. Whatever you know, <laughs> you know what, it <laughs> what I mean. So it's, <laughs> it's never do math on a, on a, video, on a video or a stream. Um, <laughs> so, you, yeah, you get exponential uh, more seeds and, of course, more corn. So you will swim in corn very, very soon. This is something that I really would like this fun pimps to change. But, yeah, that's something that's up to, you, up to them. So, I hope you liked my uh, farming video, I hope I explained everything clearly and as easy as I can, even though, as I said, there were some changes to farming, so it looks really like the bugs that have been in there um, have been fixed. 
And yeah, if you uh, if I help you with this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. It helps me a lot. And um, if you have any uh, recommendations so, uh, or requests of some guys, just write them down on YouTube or on the uh, on the Steam guide. Then I'm going to make a video of this definitely. So um, yeah, even if there's just one guy or two guys who are requesting the video, I'm definitely up to do the, some more Seven Days to Die videos because if you have the question. Probably plenty of other people have the same question as well. I have 1700 um, hours in this game already and I don't know what kind of questions I had in the beginning of the game. So it really helps me if you are asking the questions, if you are kind of new, uh, new to the game. Yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.